One day, George the Steamroller was waiting for Percy to take him to a new workplace. George was being rude to Reneus and Scarloe. You're just worn out wheels on worn out rails. You need rocks for your roads, replied Scarloe, and we're helping you. I need to flatten little engines in the scrapyards, retorted George. Then Percy arrived to take George away. He was still rebelling. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. The little engines were pleased to see him go. George grumbled all the way to the old branch line. He was going to turn it into a road. When they arrived, George was rude again. Bumpy ride on rotten rails. I'm glad it's over. So am I, said Percy. Ha! huffed George. Percy was still fuming when he met Thomas. What's up, Percy? It's George. He makes me feel down. Just ignore him, puffed Thomas. George was now enjoying himself. Ripping up rails, he chortled. What a life! What do you think of this, Thomas? Thomas took no notice. George felt insulted. You're a useless blue puffball. But Thomas didn't hear. I'll show him who's boss. At last, the workmen reached the level crossing. What shall we do here? Tear it up, tarmac it, said George. So they did, but not properly, and George knew it. Later, Thomas was traveling home on the same line. He was pulling freight cars filled with vegetables. The signalman had forgotten to warn his driver about the crossing. That's nice, we don't need to stop, said Thomas happily. Yes, we do, called his driver. But it was too late. Next day, Percy told Gordon all about George. Huh, snorted Gordon. You're just a small engine. That's why he's rude to you. He wouldn't dare cause me any trouble. George had been taken to some yards to work. Duck arrived with a train of empty freight cars. George was blocking his way, and a car was stuck on the main line. Let me through, demanded Duck. You'll just have to wait, replied George. There's no time to wait. I must clear my freight cars from the main line to let Gordon through. Then he'll have to wait too, said George. Duck's driver went to complain to the station master, but the signalman had set the signal to allow Gordon to speed through. His passengers were singing his praises, and he was making express time. I'm the greatest! Just watch me fly by! He whistled long and loud as he approached the station. Suddenly, he saw a freight car on the line ahead. Get out of my way! But the freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it. By accident. Gordon was worried that Sir Topham Hatt would be cross. He was, but not with Gordon. Whoever caused this disturbance will have me to answer to. And he did, a few days later. Look who's here, said Thomas. George had been found out by Sir Topham Hatt and punished. He looked miserable. Now we'll get some peace at last, said Percy. I want to get rolling again, but I've got to wait a whole week till I do. And then you'll be just as rude as ever. Eh, George? I hope not. Don't you? <laughs>